Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS. Today we are going to discuss about the new feature of custom attributes which is introduced in Exxon version 6.2. So before starting, let's see the agenda for today's video. So today we are going to discuss about the need of custom attribute. Thereafter we will see how to create a custom attribute in Exxon and then we will see some frequently asked questions. So to begin, Let's start with our first point, that is need of custom attribute. So why this feature is required? By default, for each and every facet, there are certain number of default fields. By using these fields, you can provide information about a particular object of that facet. But in some scenarios, depending on your organization's need, you might want to save some additional information for each and every object of a particular facet. And for doing that, the easiest way is to define an attribute at facet level so that attribute will be present for each and every object of that facet and you can use that attribute to store additional information. And hence, we have introduced feature of custom attributes in Exxon version 6.0. So now, let's see how to create custom attributes. So, this is our Exxon UI. For creating a custom attribute, we have to go to the admin panel. So let's go to the admin panel. And here we have to navigate to this option, Meta Model Administration. And then to custom fields. Now, first we have to choose for which facet we want to have a custom field. So let's say these are all the op available options. Suppose we want to create a custom attribute for glossary facet. So here we have already two custom attributes present for this facet. Let's try to add a new one. So switch to edit mode and from here we can add a new custom field by clicking on this plus icon. So now here we have to provide the name for our custom attribute. So let's provide it as underscore test then comes this option mandatory so if you will check this option then this field whatever you are going to create will be the mandatory field and it will be necessary for you to provide this value for any of the new glossary else it will not allow you to save that particular clause thereafter here we have to define the description for this new attribute then this is the another important field type so by using this you can define the data type for your new custom attribute so these are all the available options you can either choose it as text number decimal date checkbox time percentage or even the drop down so let's say we will go to drop down and here you have to define the values whatever you want to see in those in that drop down list so let's copy one and the new value should be in new line value two three and value four okay and thereafter if you want you can provide the default values for each of these fields or for any one of these fields and here you can define the placeholder text so once you are done with all your information you can just save it now as you can see we have here our custom attribute so let's click on close now we'll see whether for any existing object means for any existing glossary this field got added or not so let's open any glossary so here as you can see we have our custom attribute that is attribute to underscore test. Now let's try to provide some value for it. Okay so here we can see that it is a drop down and we can choose any of the value. We can just click on save and close. So this is how we create a custom attribute in Exxon. Now let's see some of the frequently asked questions regarding custom attributes. 
so first thing is whether custom attribute will get added for existing objects so answer is yes we have seen just now that we have created a custom attribute for glossary and for one of the existing glossaries we have provided value for that custom attribute and so coming to the next question whether custom attributes will be present in bulk upload templates so yes custom attribute will be present there in the bulk upload templates once you create the custom attribute thereafter if you will download a new bulk upload template for the glossary you can see that field present there in the template now the third one is is it possible to delete custom attributes later yes we can delete custom attributes suppose you have created a custom attribute and later you want to delete that then we have option to delete it in fact we have three options present there we can either add a new custom attribute or we can even add it as existing attribute or if you want you can delete a existing attribute now the fourth one if we delete custom attributes whether it will get deleted from new bulk upload templates so yes once you delete it once you will delete the custom attribute and again if you will download any new bulk upload template then you will see that uh, the custom attribute whatever you have deleted will not be present there in the bulk upload templates then the last one is if we delete custom attribute whether that attribute and its value will get deleted for existing objects so suppose you have created a custom attribute and for some of the existing objects you have defined value for that particular custom attribute and later on due to some other requirements you want to delete the custom attribute so once you will delete that custom attribute it again returns back to the same condition when that custom attribute was not at all present in your instance means if you will delete it then that custom attribute will get deleted from each and every place it will get deleted from the bulk upload templates as well as it will get deleted at the object level so whatever previously for any object if you have provide this value for this custom attribute field then that will also get deleted and you will not see any more that attribute or its value there in the object so this is all about the custom attribute if you have any queries any further queries regarding this topic or if you have any suggestion or any feedback regarding this video please contact us using below links thank you for watching the video